welcome to 7th of May's Holy Blessing. Now, love is everything which pulls us together with human beings. But what about love for God? But to have love for God, we need to know who He is. How does He look? Where does He stay? And what is His name? And that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. To know more about the details of the Creator Himself who reveals Himself. That's why the revelations in the last chapters of Bible. Revelations about what? How the creation was created, how and when he created it, and he himself comes and tells that to us. Imagine that, where the world is involved into lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, God comes down when his other children are so involved in other things, worldly things, and he chooses a few of them and tells them this beautiful knowledge. Whereas he wants others to also know that others are so involved in greed and ego and jealousy and mine and his, that they don't take interest. Anyways, that is a separate topic. But God says, if you have love for me, I recognize it and I give you the return for your love for me. So God says, for you to meditate on me also, you need love. And love is something which pulls us together. So let's understand what does God have to say in this beautiful, beautiful Gurdan in his own words. Supreme Father in this beautiful Gurdan says, may you be eternally loving and experience the flying stage with the lift of love. You have a physical lift in your house or in a building. God is going to compare it with that. May you be eternally loving and experience the flying stage with the lift of love. Flying stage means feel lighter. So in order to be liberated from having to work hard, be loving to the Father. So either if you don't have a good relationship with somebody, you have to work very hard. But if you have love in that relationship, the hard work this eternal love becomes an imperishable lift. Lift of what? Lifting you to be in yoke or have an outer body experience or have an astral travel. And gives you the experience of the flying stage. However, if there is carelessness in your love, you cannot receive a current from the Father. So there is a different spiritual current over here. Of light and power. He pulls you. And the lift which you have in your building or in a shopping mall is a separate lift. It also runs on current, but a physical current. However, if there is carelessness in your love, you cannot receive a current from the Father. And this lift will not work. Lift means what? To feel the meditative power, to feel the astral travel. Just as when the light and connection stops, now he's talking about the physical light, and the connection stops, you cannot have happiness from the lift. That physical lift, you cannot go in the lift, you cannot climb up, you have to walk up the stairs. In the same way, when there is little love, you experience having to work hard. Work hard means what? You have to climb those stairs, here also you have to again and again take some support of someone to teach you meditation, to guide you in meditation, to tell you how to do meditation because there is no love. Meditation is not meditation, it's love for God. Therefore be eternally loving and that's the answer. Search for that love within you for God. See, we have love for things and people, you know, and uh, so many five elemental things. Either that is there within us, or we have the love for the soul and the supreme soul who are non material. Soul, the self, and supreme soul, non material. And that non material love is something which is becoming difficult for people to learn in this Kali Yuga because people only believe in loving something which they can see, feel, hear, talk to. God is somebody who you can talk telepathically, not physically. So that's what you learn in Brahma Kumari is to generate your love for God. To come over and learn the spiritual art. But for that you have to first know who he is. Because God is one. And who is he is what you learn in Brahma 